This man has a 30 centimeters object stuck in his throat. He pulls it out and sees that it is a full bat. Just as he is frightened to death, he suddenly realizes that it was just a dream. But the dream was bizarre because when he woke up there was a bat on the ground. When he tried to tell his companions about it, he found out that the other three had the same dream and the bat in his dream had come true. This hadn't happened for centuries and the only person who knew why was this woman. She was known as the master of the two rites. A woman who used light to stir up everything in the world and keep it peaceful. But just 100 years ago, a man called the true dragon brought the world to its knees. According to the dragon's lust, 18 years ago he was reincarnated and will once again influence the fate of the world. But no one knows if the reincarnated dragon is a man or a woman. Murray, as the master of the two rites, could only check the age of each one. And today she arrived at a village because it was the only place where 18-year-olds still existed. Along with them came the beast demons, all of whom were under the Dark Emperor's command. They know that the dragon has a body that can never be hurt. So the beast men kill everyone mercilessly to find the dragon's reincarnation. As the light, Murray would not let the Dark Emperor get away with it. For everyone knew that the reincarnated dragon had great power. If you follow the light, you can benefit all beings. But if you follow the Dark Emperor, you can destroy the world. So she first set fire to the beasts and demons around her and then sent a message to the god of thunder in the sky asking him to kill the Dark Emperor's men. Unfortunately, there were too many of them. So Murray had to use the power of holy light to turn everything around her into a weapon she could mobilize to finish off all the beastmen present. When it was over, only four young men survived. Murray's aura was half damaged by the injuries she sustained during the battle, but she was able to use her powers to help the villagers heal their wounds. She told the four young men about the legend of the reincarnation of the true dragon, and that the reason the Dark Emperor had sent his men to kill them was because one of you must be the true dragon. If you don't want the villagers to suffer anymore it would be best to go with her. Murray took the four of them. But the general under the Dark Emperor had a special ability where he could locate the four young men through their dreams. The reason why they dreamt of bats and could see them the next day was because of this ability. Murray knew that the beastmen would be coming, so they came to a castle that even the beastmen would fear. The tall, strong walls of the castle were inexplicably torn apart. When one enters one finds a city inside that is frighteningly quiet. The old buildings are easy to see how prosperous they once were. But what was strange was that after all these years of abandonment there were no birds chirping. No weeds, not even a single ant. They were getting more and more confused. But the most important thing now was to heal Murray first. Murray's assistant had heard tales of this place. So she reminded the four young men. We can rest here for a while, but don't touch anything in the city. George didn't care when he heard this. But on his way to wander around he noticed a small wooden box. He opened it and found a glowing dagger inside. George pulled it out with his hand. But just then the warhorse outside began to neigh only to see a patch of black sand on the ground slowly approaching. When his companion ran outside to see that the horse had been swallowed up by the black sand, the other horses fled. By the time George found his companion, the spread of the black sand had begun to accelerate and the only way to escape was to split up. Murray and his assistant escaped on the only horse left. The other two companions also ran up the wall and jumped into the moat. The only way out was blocked by an iron gate. Wayne tried to climb inside and unlock it. Hoist me up. Why don't you hoist me up? George did as he was told. The two men finally kicked through the protective fence at the edge of the wall, although their lives were no longer in danger. The rest of the journey was still a difficult one. Murray and his assistant tended to their wounds in the middle of nowhere, while the other two teammates emerged from the river. They are soon targeted by the wolves, and George and Wayne finally find a place to rest. But there's something odd about this village. Legend has it that hanging a fresh tramp's body at the entrance to the village will make it rich, and on their first visit, the two tramps find the best tavern for begging. But the owner, Luz, was a bit strange. Not only did she not report it, but the village chief gave them the room for free. She expressed her sympathy for their plight and accompanied Wayne for a drink and a chat. I'm sorry, I didn't, no, sorry. didn't mean to. I came up too strong, didn't I? No, it has nothing to do with you, it's just... No, was it the hair? What? No, I shouldn't have braided it. Makes me look too much like her, doesn't it? Wayne was stunned that the strange Liz could say his girlfriend's name. She also knew that Wayne and his companions were candidates for the reincarnation of the true dragon. So Liz was one of the Dark Emperor's men. 
She had to wait for George to come back and hand him over to the Dark Emperor along with Wayne, but George was not coming back. During the day, George saw a stone hanging from a corpse at the entrance of the village, so when it was dark, George found the body and tried to get the stone in exchange for money to go home. Wayne knew he couldn't wait around to die, so he started banging on the door. Why do you think I brought you here? That door is made of iron with three men your size can break it down. The lizards chased after him with their knives, and Wayne found George who hadn't gone far enough to pull him away. But they were finally stopped by Liz. She said, I won't kill you because that's what the two masters would do. He wants you to save us. Can't you see that? The wheel keeps turning and people keep hurting. Flood, drought, war. But the dragon, the dragon has the chance to change all that. Liz has been completely brainwashed by the Dark Emperor, seeing that the two did not believe her. She began to threaten again. Suddenly a dagger stabbed her through the throat. Liz died instantly. It turns out that a passing two-eyed master had killed her. 